in this lecture we are going to see the population attributes first we will see what is population population is a group of organisms of a same places living together in unit time that means a particular species means the organisms which are living together and can interbreed with each other it is called as they are of same species so such a group of organisms which is which is of same species living together it is called as population of one species so in that population for example we are taking the example of human beings that means uh, there are all human beings are are of a single species and that name of that species is homo sapiens sapiens okay so human is a one species and all human beings are under the uh, homo sapiens sapiens so that population is going to ascertained by the census we know the census which is taken in every 10 years every 10 year there is a Uh, calculation or census of the population takes place so how the population uh, census is takes place okay we are going to see in that population attributes this is uh, of human being in another animals also such type of population uh, is going to census also in case of tigers in case of other animals and plants also now we are generally taking the example of human being to understand is okay so we are going to see some of the population attributes so first in that it is nothing but the natality or we can call it as birth rate so what is natality the num the rate of reproduction of new individuals in a population per unit time and per unit age what is mean what it's mean that means suppose here a hundred population hundred org- organisms population or hundred humans population in that how many individuals are going to added by birth that means new individuals are going to produce so rate of this it is nothing but the natality that means birth rate so how the natality is going to calculated for that formula is there natality is equal to number of birth per year divided by mid year population into 1000 that is nothing but the natality okay uh, suppose example 100 popul- 100s population is there hum- 100 humans are there that is the population in that suppose in one year 10 population or 10 young ones are going to take birth okay so 10 are added in the population so uh, 10 divided by middle population 100 it is going to calculate we are going to calculate by this formula the natality that means birth rate simultaneously the second attribute is nothing but the mortality mortality we can call it as death rate as the natality is calculated mortality also calculated but here is the rate of deaths occurred in a population per unit time per unit area that means in a population in one year how many individuals are going to dead or how many dead persons are there that is by that we are going to sensitize the mortality rate or death rate it is calculated by mortality is equal to number of deaths per year divided by mid year population into 1000 by this way we can we can calculate the natality and mortality that means birth rate and death rate then third attribute is nothing but the growth rate and to calculate the growth rate we need to know the natality and mortality of that population if we know the natality and mortality of a population we can calculate the growth rate so for that the formula is growth rate is equal to natality minus mortality divided by unit time that means in a population how much natality is there minus how much mortality is there 
and divided by per unit time in which time or how how much time is required we can calculate the growth suppose if natality is more and mortality is less then the growth rate is increased and if mortality is more and natality is lower then the growth rate is decrease that means in a 100 population suppose the growth rate is 10 and the mortality is 5 then the growth rate is increase if suppose the mortality is 10 and natality is 5 then it is going to decreasing growth rate. so these are the three attributes natality mortality and growth rate. okay we are going to see the first four attribute that is a very important attribute that is age distribution and age period now what is mean by age distribution in case of human being we know that human beings are having three life stages first one is a young stage then adult stage and then old stage so that is nothing but the distribution of the age okay by that way the age distribution in case of human being is it is in three stages first one is the pre reproductive stage second one is the reproductive stage and third one is the post reproductive stage pre reproductive stage it means young stage which is of 0 to 14 years up to the 14 years young condition is there that is called as pre reproductive stage then second one is the reproductive stage where human beings can reproduce another organisms so it is called as adult stage and which is from 15 to 45 years up to which the menstrual cycle of the female is continuous up to 14 years generally so this is the adult stage or we can call it as reproductive stage and third one is nothing but the post reproductive stage we are calling it as old stage like old life stage and it is the final stage of life which is upward 45 years up to uh, whatever 100 90 100 or above 100 so this is forced uh, reproductive stage where uh, organisms cannot reproduce generally there are some of the exceptions where in 15 years also birth take place so generally it is beyond the 15 years it is only so in that three conditions the age distribution is there so by that way we can uh, consider or we can conclude a certain population is either increasing either decreasing or remains stable so by that age distribution uh, population is of three types we can conclude either the population uh, increase and decrease in a study it is of three types that means uh, first one it is nothing but the growing population second one is nothing but the steady population and third one is nothing but the declining population and to understand which of the population is there we should know the age distribution that three life stages and how is the percentage of any stage will going to uh, easy for to making decisions either the population is which population is there so first we will see the growing population growing population the pyramid is here on the screen how is the growing population the growing population is that where the pre reproductive stage, stage is more or larger than the post reproductive stage and reproductive stage that means if a hundred population is there in that pre-reproductive are 30 or 40 pre-reproductive are 40 then uh, uh, for, uh, 30 are reproductive so 40 30 70 and 30 are uh, post reproductive that means the number of pre-reproductive means young persons are more and after some period it is going to uh, change into the reproductive so they again reproduce more and the number of deaths are lower because the post reproductive 
number of post tuberculosis is less so it is always a growing population where the young or pre reproductive are more and more okay and second one it is nothing but the steady population uh, sorry first in growing population example is the india because india is called as the youngest country why it is called as youngest country because the number of pre reproductive stages or we can call as young people are more in 0 to 14 years are more in the india as compared to the old persons that's why india is called as youngest country second it is nothing but the steady population steady population means the population neither increases that much and neither decreases that much the number is remains as it is low more or less okay so the pyramid is there where the pre reproductive and post reproductives are same the number of reproductive is more or less but the pre and post reproductive is same then the population is steady suppose in a growing population okay suppose 100 persons are there growing population what happens if 100 persons are there then in growing population uh, if 30 persons are taking birth in that 100 population and from that 10 are going to death so 100 and 30 it becomes 130 and from that if 10 are going to death then 120 120 is larger than that 100 initial population so it is a growing population fact in case of uh, uh, steady population what happens if 100 population is there the number of birth is 20 and number of death are 20 so in 100 if 20 are added at the same time 20 are going to death so the number remains 100 or 100 and 1 and 100 So it nothing but more or less same. that is called as steady population. If pre and post reproductive are the same, that means birth rate and death rate are same, and it is called as steady population. The countries like United States, that is Austria, Austria, are the example of steady population. Their population is uh, more or less same in every ten years. Okay, so that is called as steady population. and third one it is nothing but the declining population it is exactly inverse of the growing population that means here the pre reproductive stage is uh, stage is less and pro uh, post reproductive is larger and in between that the reproductive stage is there that means in that population old persons are more and more and young people are very less so what happens the old persons are going to die so population is going to decrease that means in 100s population if 10 are going to add it, it will become 110 but 60 are going to die so 110 minus 60 it will becomes 50 so from 100 to 50 it is a declining population and the example is nothing but the japan where the old persons are more and more they are going to dead they are not going to reproduce again so there are no chances of increasing of young peoples or pre reproductive stage so these are the three conditions the population either growing that means pre reproduced young persons are more and old are less in steady population young and old persons are nothing but at the same stage and in the declining population the old persons are more and more and young people sir so in three of the countries in our country uh, to stop or to uh, maintain constant uh, population we are going to uh, add some of the uh, restrictions on the people that means uh, up to the two young ones you can hire or you can produce only two young ones uh, or after that you are not going to uh, getting government facilities that type of restrictions are there in and in case of japan like countries where they are uh, convincing the people to produce more and more young people so that their population 
is going to um, that means in a population never growing population are again dangerous and declining populations are also dangerous so population is always in the steady population so that their development takes place in your books there are some pyramids are there and that is you can uh, see on the screen there are some pyramids with uh, growth there are growth more uh, different growth stages are there uh, slow growth fast growth no growth or zero growth so in that also sex ratio is there in that pictures sex ratio is there male and females are differences within that center so whatever the information you want it is uh, only uh, you can mention it in the pyramids so this is called as pyramids so some more attributes we are going to see in the next lecture